Hello! Welcome to my video series of MolBio Explained in 3 Minutes where I explain a concept of molecular biology in 3 minutes or so. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Today we will talk about colony PCR which is a method for rapidly screening colonies of bacteria that have grown up in a selective media after a transformation process and our goal is to identify whether it has a desired genetic construct or not. So let's say we have done a cloning reaction and in that ligation mix we would have a self ligated plasmid and a combination of recombinant plasmid and our goal is to look at that after transformation the colonies that appears on a plate which of them are recombinant and which of them don't have the plasmid because we are going to work with the colonies which would have the recombinant plasmid right so here is the workflow first you have to do the restriction and ligation then taking this particular uh, cloned plasmid you are going to transform it inside a competent bacteria and then you have to wait for overnight and in the next day you would generally see colonies in the plate now some of these colonies might have that construct that you are looking at so what you can do is pick up many colonies as many as possible from the plate now for simplicity, we are only picking up three colonies and try to understand whether the recombinant construct is there or not. So, we would first scrape out a little portion of these colonies with the help of sterilized pipette and put it in PCR strips. We would do the same for colony number two and three as well. Then we would prepare a master mix which would have all the PCR components like forward primer which we would forward and reverse primer which we would use to detect our uh, construct and then there would be DNTP tag pole and all other components of the buffer. Finally we would set the PCR reaction and place it into the PCR machine. Then while we run the gel we would get to know whether our recombinant construct was present or not. In this particular example, it seems that we get a positive band in colony number 2, but we don't see it in colony number 1 and 3. That means colony number 2 is our target and this has the uh, clone construct. So, now what we are going to do, go back to the plate and scrape a little bit of colony number 2 again and then inoculate that in a test tube containing bacterial culture media. And our goal is to amplify this particular bacteria and isolate the pure plasmid from that and lastly sequence that plasmid to understand whether the insert has uh, incorporated in an in-frame situation or not. So all of these questions can be asked with sequencing experiments. But in this video we learn how colony PCR can give, a, give us an overall idea that whether uh, our plasmid of interest is incorporated into a bacterial colony or not it's cheap robust and time saving so if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up you can support me on patreon or in Veeam UPI and you can take my unacademy course by using my code ap10 you get a 10% discount thank you for listening thank you